My name is Sue Quirk, and until recently I've been the Head of Technology at Ascol Glanamore in Burryport. STEM is an acronym that's been around for a number of years really and, and it, it stands for the, the four disciplines of science, technology, engineering and maths. It is our work in STEM that actually allowed us to become a pioneer school for science and technology and we've been involved for the last couple of years in, in writing the new curriculum for Wales. Go on then, give it a go, let's see what we need to do. <laughs> You can see it's going to yeah. need quite a bit of force to do that. My experience of what is today design technology was completely different. You know, these days a lot more girls are getting involved and happy to, to really engage with, with engineering, with science, with technology. There's no barriers now. <laughs> Currently it stands that it's about sort of 24% of people with in STEM roles are women. So there's a huge sort of untapped sort of a pool of expertise there. It's important that actually if we are going to develop the best innovative problem solving, critical thinking sort of approaches to, to STEM, then we need to actually involve both men and women because both bring something to that mix. And I think if we can actually provide lots of sort of role models for, for our next generation of females to actually aspire to and see, and yes, I can be that and I can do that, I think that's going to be key. STEM to me is basically like the opportunities to like do stuff I enjoy that typically women shouldn't really be doing almost because even though we try and cross, like rule out that stereotype it is still very much around like and I think it's really important that the issue gets addressed. I think we all benefit from supporting one another regardless of what field and, and working together collaboratively is, is really key, really important. Networking provided a way of, of finding out what other people were doing and how they were doing it. And then as we became successful then and we were asked to do more things, networking became a way of sharing good practice we'd established with other schools.